You hear me? Sure, you don't never talk to me like that, bro. Come no, here. I... Come here. What? Oh. Huh? No. Show me something. No. Talk to me like that. Oh. No, you go have fun tonight. Make sure you tell them about the engagement. Be home by midnight. Don't make me come looking for you. Ladies, can we toast the tea for getting us all together for a fabulous and Martina Girls Night in? <laughs> Seriously, I know it's not easy getting us all together like this. We're all so busy and life just takes over, I guess. Especially for me. I knew I could be the next. I'll drink to We all know your specialty. Y'all know this is the labor of love. We're going to be doing this until we are 50. Once a year, that is all I can ask. Besides, I cannot take all y'all on a regular basis anyway. And that went out the door with marriage and motherhood. Speaking of which, how did you manage to kick them all out of their own house? Honey, I sent Willie to the hotel alone and he is on his phone with his boys and out the door before I can say please. The kids, I send them with cash and an agenda. So we are free to remember 21, y'all. Oh, girl, you are so lucky. V, you need to be taking notes since you're about to jump the broom. Okay, you're a bottle mouth and y'all nosy. You know that note? I'm gonna use the little girls' room since my bladder's at the minute of 60. You're just mad because you know we're about to get all up in your business about that fiance. Um, oh, okay. not my fiance. I'm gonna go make sure Miss Thing ain't trying to escape through the bathroom window. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Can bring her tail back in here? Egypt is coming, so y'all finally get to meet him. Um, wait a minute. I thought this was ladies' night. Now we bring hey. the up in here. You burst in chirping yet? Because yeah. Egypt is here, baby. And I am the entertainment. And best believe I have more estrogen than you. Mm. Mm. V will be back in a second, but the one with the mouth, that's Jay. Shut up, hey. Egypt, you are too much. Every time I talk to Miss Thing, it's Egypt this or Egypt that. That's because she wish you lived next door to your best friend. This is my partner in crime right here. Come on now. Let's take a selfie. Janelle, what the hell are you doing? No, what the hell are you doing? Excuse me? V, the last time I talked to you, which, by the way, was two months ago, you showed up on my doorstep crying because this asshole had beat you until you lost your baby. I get no return phone calls, and now, now I find out that you're going to marry him? Janelle, you don't know what you're talking about. First of all, I haven't accepted his proposal. Uh, Second, he apologized, and things have been okay. Third, that's exactly why I haven't returned your phone calls, wow. Judge Judy. Oh, okay. You know what? You expect me to have no opinion at all on this? I don't know what's going on in your head right now. I'm just trying to figure out why you're all up in my face. Wow. Not everybody is perfect like you, Janelle. How does people change? I know people change. You know why? Because you sure have. Changed? Yes. How have I changed? Yeah. Uh, because I love someone now and I can't uh, be at your beck and call? V! V! You're settling. And you don't settle. I can't believe this. Believe what? <laughs> that I finally found someone who wants to marry me? Finally find someone who chooses me for a change? Do you even know what that feels like? No. Maybe if you had a man, you would understand. 
Oh my god. V, V, why? It's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. Look, I'm sorry. I can't act like I don't know what's going on. And I'm sorry, but I cannot bury the idea of the woman that I know you are. And I can't disregard the way you looked, the way, the way you cried for that baby, the way I felt trying to comfort you. And I am so very sorry that I don't have someone, but... You just understand what it feels like to have someone no. who loves you. No, I don't. Because I love you. I love you too, but what does that have to do with you screaming? No, V. I love you. I'm in love with you. What? <laughs> okay, put some buddies in the line out here now. Yeah, guys, we know you're trying to dox the conversation and everything, but we gotta go now. Speaking of which, are you a, le are you a lesbian? Lavanya, I have always had feelings for you. And I guess as a woman, that makes me a lesbian. Lavanya, the reason I've never made anything work with anybody, male or female, is because nobody compares to you. And I would have kept that to myself for the rest of my life. But I can't, I can't deal with knowing that somebody would lay next to your smooth skin and would bruise it. Your beautiful eyes staring at somebody who doesn't stare back. And your pop lips kissing somebody who doesn't make you feel like We said we'd never do this again. The time that I need you, babe. Anybody to know the harsh things he would say, the ugly way he treated me. It's like he changed once we moved. B, how could we not have known? We are closest friends. Janelle, did you know? Yeah, I knew. So you knew this motherfucker was beating on my cousin and you ain't do shit? It, it just happened. It just happened. He snapped. He became more and more abusive. He apologized that he snapped, but then I lost the baby, but he snapped. And I've had enough, and to know been there ever since. You two been together? Yes, and I'm not going back home. So you're gay? I don't know about all that, but I love her. Well, I'll drink to that. Well, that's the end. For you at least. For me, things are just getting started. Poor Tawny. She's still in disbelief. So you're gay? She
she probably still sitting in that same spot with that same look on her face. Constantly texting V asking her why she gave one minute and the next, how do y'all do it? You wish you didn't necessarily your partner <sighs> Luckily she has Philip, aka Ease up next door over there helping her through it. Go figure. <laughs> she wanted to hashtag their little selfie, straight girls matter. Needless to say that that never got posted. Yes, no, and Jade no, definitely no, got a big no, mouth. No, but unlike Tawny, she loved having herself a new gay reference point. So much so that she started a blog and flooded social media with our little love story. She titled it, I'll Drink to That. <laughs> I'm happy for her though. Even though, consequently, me and V had to lay low before going to get her things with a police escort. Needless to say, little Ike over there wasn't too happy at all. <sighs> Life is funny. I became a full-blown lesbian and inherited a stalker all in the same week. Anyway, life is strange but good. Drinks are definitely in order on a daily basis. <laughs> but hey, at least I got the girl. And I'll drink to that for real. Can't wait to see these girls next year.